Why are car prices sky high right now? Pretty simple. It's a supply and demand issue influenced by three major factors. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, also known as the Homework Guy and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? Today's video on the three major factors behind high car prices is brought to you by the Homework Guy team, home of super high intensity training for car buyers and our awesome group of auto experts. If you appreciate our hard work on your behalf and you want to support our efforts, well, there's plenty of ways for you to get on board and show us a little appreciation. Start by recommending us to friends and help boost the Homework Guy channel to the million subscriber mark. The question everyone wants an answer to is why are car prices so high right now, especially used car prices? First, there's the phenomena that all of you should know about right away, and that is the cycle that happens every spring. Starts in February, carries over into March and early April. By April and May, the typical reasons car prices are high has ended. But not so savvy car dealers are sitting on inventory they paid way too much money for and they don't want to drop the prices. Simply put, every year brings tax season. People get their tax returns faster than ever because of electronic filing. With some extra bucks in their pockets, many people run right out to spend it. Some people can't spend it fast enough. Truth be known. If you're one of those people who immediately looked for something to spend your money on, let me give you a little tip. There's a reason you're always broke, but I digress. Dealers know this, and each year they are ready for a bunch of car buyers with some extra dollars in their pockets. This year is far from typical, though. Two additional factors besides tax returns come into play. Not only did tax returns hit American households, but then a $1,400 stimulus check came rolling in, and some of you got more than one if you're married and filed jointly. Add to that, depending on where you live, there's still a pandemic going on in given areas of the country, and you have a trifecta of sorts that you don't typically see in the spring of the year. Tax returns, stimulus checks, and a pandemic. These three factors have car prices sky high. It's not to say that deals can't be had. They can, but it's going to take some patience and you're going to have to be willing to shop a lot more dealers and look at a lot more cars. If you can't be patient and you're prone to making hasty car buying decisions, I'm going to guarantee you that you'll get hosed. Among the dealers out there, there are some real savvy owners who saw this coming. They were busy buying cars cheap in December and January, and you might have noticed that some of the car lot's inventories were bulging at the seams. These dealers are sitting in the catbird seat right now because after buying low, they're selling high. Other not-so-smart dealers waited, and they're buying cars right now at the auto auctions just when used cars are selling for sky-high prices. Those dealers are going to be miserable over the next 90 days, and they'll be jerks to you as you try to get those high prices lower. They're stuck. And some of them may actually have to sell cars later in the year for less than they paid. Well, sucks to be them, but that's not your fault. That's just plain old stupidity and lack of planning on their part. If you run into a dealer who won't budge, it's time for you to exercise that number one power move. You know the thing we told you about a short time ago? That's where you get up and walk out. Here's something to think about for those of you who either fix cars or like to work on cars or don't mind a vehicle with a few extra miles on it. If you don't mind turning a wrench, consider picking up a vehicle that has a few more miles or needs a little work or some TLC. There's a lot of people who own cars that have very little wrong with them. But one little problem or a few too many miles and they get scared. That's a deal waiting out there for the right buyer and that buyer could be you. Here's another way you can take advantage of very high car prices. If you know you're going to buy another car, sell your car instead. Sell it yourself instead of trading it into a dealer when you're getting something new. You can easily make thousands of dollars more. Why let the dealer benefit from your great vehicle? What happens if you sell your car before you get another one? Well, no problem. The few hundred bucks you might spend on a car rental while you're in between cars will be a drop in the bucket in comparison. I should know. I've done it tons of times. If you think you need a car and you're worried about getting stuck between vehicles, well, start your car shopping venture now. Take your time doing it and start marketing your current vehicle to sell private party at the same time. You can thank me later for that little idea. It's the route I go every single time. Every single time. I hope you didn't miss that. Here's something to know about a seller's market, and it is indeed a seller's market right now. 
For those of you who don't know how to negotiate, or you suck at it, or you don't want to negotiate, it doesn't matter why. Be aware that dealers are sitting on inventory they aren't going to easily let go of. They can wait for a sucker to come along, and many of them will. If you think there's a really good possibility that your minimal car buying skills put you on the most likely to be ripped off list of car buyers, well then, wait. Wait for at least 60 days until well after the effects of tax checks and stimulus checks wear off. This is not a good time for the timid car buyer to purchase from a car dealer. The last thing I wanted to share with you today is that the Homework Guy team has decided to launch a new channel titled The Homework Guy Shorts. The link is here on the screen, and you will find it in the description box down below. Consider subscribing there too. You'll get a lot of tidbits on impactful information, usually less than 60 seconds and focused on a single topic that we think you guys need to know about. Check it out and let us know what you think. And if you haven't already done so, take the time to go to the Homework Guy channel homepage and see all the great videos put out by the Homework Guy team. You can easily become one of the most savvy car buyers out there We've put in the time to help you out. You don't have any excuse. Now you just have to put in the time and use what we've produced for you. If you appreciate the video today, consider giving us that great big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Include hashtag the homework guy and look for us on any of your favorite social media platforms out there. We post updates and share videos on other platforms too and answer car buying questions to help you out. If you love what we do and want to contribute with a tip, well, the PayPal and Cash App links that you see here will be easy to find in the description box down below as well as on our website. Here's the best part. We don't just help car buyers. We also sponsor great causes. People like Maggie. This amazing young lady works with university students to help them get more out of their studies and ultimately more out of their lives after school. We enthusiastically sponsor Maggie and she thanks you in advance, just like the Homework Guy team. Maggie knows that you change the world by what you do. If you can't do a tip today, no problem. Just help us get the word out. You can help us get to the million subscriber mark. And by doing so, you're helping to bring fairness and honesty to the car business. Thanks, everyone, for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter. Until next time, take care, everyone.